Okay, welcome back. So now let's move to the next tutorial. So we created the same model. We have the geometry. Let's do the same, but using a space gun. So here we have my solution. Let's do it from scratch. So drag, drag and drop here and double click new space clean and let's create exactly the same geometry using a space clean. so it's a way much much easier so you already have a feeling that it's pushing and pulling now in a space clean. we're going to see how to create this this geometry but pretty much the same steps kind of we need to create we need to create this path then the circle and then we pull it and then we create this one here so let, let's do it okay so i go back to 3d again you just need to choose a plane to sketch so here you are using the, the pull tool, you just press escape to get out, design, sketch mode, choose a plane. So I will put it here. Okay, normal to screen. And now let's do this geometry. Okay, so we can do the whole stuff or the, just the path. So I will do the whole stuff, you see, just to remind you that it's quite easy. Okay, so let me go here. Remember that by default, okay, escape by default, it use millimeters, so, but you can change the units up to you. So this one, let me add here dimensions 200 millimeters there, 100 millimeters here. Okay, now we have it on the screen. So now let me add a construction line here. So put it there. You can add your dimensions here. So 100 there. You put the circle there. So I'm taking here the longest path, but just to show you again, that is super easy, you know, in comparison with design modeler. Okay, here it's very straightforward to do things. And now I can trim away here okay and here and from here i go way up okay a minute so here so you have it there so it becomes red because it is over constrained so you can just erase this one and you have it right there so also this one goes away it's not a problem that becomes red but it's over constrained so you have too many dimensions so just you said erase one and that's all so hover here and see that you wake up there and you're in line it and you have your geometry there. Okay. So I can go here, get out and see that you have go back here. You can hide what well, you saw you have here, this, this face. So now we also need to create, uh, the profile that we're going to, to use to see along. So to create a new, a new, a, a new escape a new plane so here you have in design here you have the plane tool so you just select this point here you can select like this or you can go control and you have it there say so that you have your plane there okay you can i put more planes that then I, I need it oh, oops so let's get it. okay let me erase this plane say so i need it so i want to have a plane here let's say so i here i can do my my other sketch, okay. And interesting, let me see that I don't see the previous geometry, okay. Layout sketch. So let's see that the previous geometry, you can project that here, okay. Should be visible there i don't know why it's not visible that let me go back okay so we have this here okay i go here design sketch okay so this is the, the origin okay so let me go here touch there okay okay now i have visible there the geometry okay so you put dimensions here this is 100 and see that it was attached there you have it perfectly there go back you have your profile there and what is easy here is that you only need to choose now the pull tool yeah and i want to first pull face and then this is your path 
and voila, you are done. And then what else we need to do? We need to create the other pipe. Okay, so again, you choose a working plane. Okay, so in our case, let me sketch here in this plane. Okay, sketch small. So you can choose your plane. This is okay. And you can sketch here. Okay, so, well, sorry. Now let me go back, design, sketch. Okay, this plane is okay. Put it normal. And now you can sketch I just want to sketch the construction line. So see that I put it here. Okay, and give the dimensions. So I know the distance from here to here. Okay, so as you go back here, you have your distance. Okay. And now also we have our distance from bottom to top, two to the five, okay. Here. Okay, so select here and control there. Okay, so let me force it to be vertical there. Okay, so it's two to five. Okay, so you have that one, and now I simply want to create a circle there. So remember that you have design, plane, select here, and now you can sketch in that plane. And let's attach the circle. Okay, uh, pa, 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 pa. okay, let me, okay, remember, sketch there. And now attach the circle there, give dimensions, which is 25, if I will recall. Okay, yes, 25, and you are done. So you have the circle here, and what you can do is here, up to, select this, and it will do the geometry. So see that it's super easy to create that. So now, for instance, if you want to split this one, okay, let me go here. Uh, as you go here in the design tool, you see a split body, select the body, and then you select the plane that you want to use. Okay, so for instance, maybe I don't have a, the plane there, so let me create that plane. So for instance, the plane can be... Okay, so there are... Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, so let me create the plane there. Okay, so you see that you have this plane there. And then the move tool, select the plane, and then you can rotate it. Okay, so let me put it 90 degrees. And then you have it there. Okay, and I go here, select, split. And this thing will ask you if you want to erase this one. Okay, so I don't want to erase this one. I want to give it there, to leave it there. So see that erase, let me hide all this. And see that you have body one and body two. Okay, as you saw, you want just one body to go to the mesh and just suppress. And this is what we have. So as you see, extremely easy to do things here. And the other thing that now we're missing here, okay. So let's say that, okay, better than, let me activate for visit and right there. So you can go here, combine. Select this, okay, you go combine, control, and select the two, and now you have a single body. And let's say that I forgot to add here the this one, the radius. Okay, so create the pull tool, and pull there. So the radius is five, put five there, and you have your radius there. Okay, and again, you can go and do the, like, with the previously, okay, so this is the plane. So you select the body and you want to cut with this one. Have this one, suppress from physics, and this is it. You have, oh, sorry, you have the geometry there. As you see, super easy to create the geometry, the 3D geometry in comparison now to the same model. The only thing is that here you have that strong parameterization. It's still, you can add it, it's a little bit trickier. So, for instance, you go here in groups. See that you select a face, 
Okay, so for instance, you can, when you select a face, pull, you can create here a parameter. Okay, so you have a parameter and you access the roller there and you can give the dimension to, to that. Okay. So for instance, let me go and put it 100. Okay, so now if it's parametrical here, but it's not as straightforward as design modeler. Okay, so you can erase this one as well here. Okay. And remember also you can create the inlet selections here. So I create inlet. So it will be inlet one. You can go here and create inlet two. You can go here and create outlet okay then you can select this this with control okay and i will call it wall one and then you can create here and call it wall two so remember you can create it directly here or you can go and do it in the uh, at the mission stage as i say i prefer to do at mission stage but it's up to you well, i forgot this one also this is symmetry Okay, you have symmetry. So this is it, okay? Very, very easy to create this geometry. And remember that now here, everything is used using this universal tool or also you can use the move. You can move faces, edges of the whole body. Okay, so for instance, you can just put it here, okay? See that push in, push out. Here also push in, push out. So it's very powerful, I really like it. But you like, the, you like this, uh, parametrization so for instance let me add here so the ruler will be from this and measure up to this and you can add the specific distance and that was supposed to be 200 okay so now you have it there okay so this is it okay this is your geometry so let me close here and now we have at this point we have the same modeler and a space clone is up to you to pick up one so i want to show you also that you can import geometries okay so let me go here put it here and you go here right click import geometry okay so in this case i have the edges and see that i imported the edges right click so i recommend you when you to it edit geometries use a space clone. you have seen that it's just pushing and pulling okay so in this case I will open this geometry. You open with, with the same modeler when you are importing. Most of the time you are losing the parametric history. Okay, so sometimes we are in some very specific uh, formats. It will try to reconstruct that one, but that doesn't happen most of the time. Instead, when you import it here, you will see that you will get the whole geometry, but using the universal tools here, it is extremely easy to modify your geometry. Okay, so see that we have this one. In this case, see that we're importing and we have surfaces, okay? So we need to close this. So to close here, you have repair, you can use a stitch, okay? And it tells you that stitch that one and now stitching everything, you have one single face, one, one solid, okay? So you repair your geometry, you have different options here, okay? Then for instance, uh, let me go and you want to modify this one here, you go back design and just start to pull in pull out, change diameters, okay, it's up to you, okay, so for instance, you might want to change this distance also, you select this face, so this is something that you cannot do when you are importing geometry, not using the same modeler, so this is the extra flexibility that you get with this tool, and if you want, for instance, you can also mirror, so you go select this, and mirror there, and you have your mirror geometry. So for instance, now let me pull that and I want to pull up to here. So up to here. So pull this face up to there. Okay, it's giving problems. So pull this one up there. Okay. So it's not matching. I don't know why it's not matching. It should be ma matching. So you select there and then so there it should, should pull that distance. Okay, so probably is this, okay. Okay, 
that's the problem. But in any case, as you see, very flexible tool. And the same way you can split, you can add new faces, you can sketch. So for instance, I can choose here and I sketch there and then I sketch a circle there. Okay, get out and then you access that face and you do whatever you want to do, okay. In this case, I drill a hole, but also you can follow a path as we did previously. So this is all, okay. I wanted to show you with a space screen. So at this point you have two tools, okay? So it's up to you to pick up one. I think you have seen that uh, space screen is very flexible, but you lack that parameterization. And the same model is very robust, but sometimes can be a little bit tricky to you. So it's up to you. So in the next video, we're going to do the, the mesh or any of this geometry we're going to use, and we're going to do a mesh. So thank you for your attention. See you next video. Bye.